Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Added sugar in the American diet is becoming a hot topic. Although my recipes for cookies, muffins, and cakes are a small fraction of the total videos I have on YouTube, I get comments like, Sugar is poison. It will kill you. How can you say these recipes are healthy for you? Americans spend $40 billion on dietary supplements they believe are safe and effective. Some supplements have been linked to liver and kidney damage and even death. Millions of Americans are eating protein like it's going out of style, but too much protein can also cause kidney damage. With over 60% of Americans classified as overweight or obese, the United States does lead the world in added sugar consumption, averaging 125 grams per day, equaling 500 calories. At the other end of the spectrum, Italians average 58 grams per day, about 232 calories, while in India, average sugar consumption is 5 grams per day, equaling 20 calories. Organizations like the American Heart Association recommend that American men limit added sugar consumption to 36 grams per day, 9 teaspoons, and women to 24 grams per day, 6 teaspoons. The World Health Organization is a bit more generous, recommending that both men and women limit added sugar consumption to 50 grams per day. These recommendations apply to added sugar, the sugar you add to foods, or the sugar added to foods. It doesn't include natural sugars in fruits and vegetables. The AHA standard means American women should reduce added sugar consumption by 80% and men by 70%. But is it really necessary to reduce sugar consumption that drastically? First, what is sugar? The sugar sucrose is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. The human body uses glucose for energy, and sugar provides 4 calories per gram. Looking at 5 popular sources of sugar in the United States, they all provide about the same number of calories with the exception of maple syrup, but these are not the main source of sugar in the American diet. Most sugars provide empty calories. They have little or no fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Sugars provide none of the health benefits of fruit. Most sugars have no antioxidant or anti-inflammatory phytonutrients. Eating too much sugar can cause tooth decay, weight gain, and insulin resistance. Sugar in prepared foods isn't limited to refined white sugar. Ingredients ending in O-S-E indicate some form of sugar. The liver converts fructose, other sugars, and starch into glucose that is released into the bloodstream. As blood glucose levels rise, the pancreas secretes insulin into the blood. Insulin allows the body cells to absorb glucose and use the glucose for energy. Eating too much sugar can overwhelm the pancreas' ability to make enough insulin. This can lead to insulin resistance, also known as metabolic syndrome. High blood glucose levels can lead to type 2 diabetes. You are classified as diabetic when fasting blood glucose is 126 milligrams per deciliter or higher. Type 2 diabetes can be prevented or reversed by making lifestyle changes including diet and exercise. To prevent or reverse type 2 diabetes, maintain a healthy weight, get regular exercise, and eat a balanced diet. Guidelines for added sugar are just that, guidelines. Some people can eat more sugar than others without becoming diabetic. That doesn't mean eating a lot of sugar is risk-free. Some studies show eating a high sugar diet may increase the risk for heart disease even if you're not overweight. As I've mentioned, refined sucrose is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. In the United States, high fructose corn syrup has replaced sugar in most foods. The type used in foods is about 45% glucose and 55% fructose. In theory, high fructose corn syrup is similar to sucrose. 
Corn syrup, also called glucose syrup, is not the same as high fructose corn syrup, since corn syrup contains no fructose. High fructose corn syrup has such a bad reputation in the United States that manufacturers openly market the fact their products contain no HFCS. But is the problem really HFCS or eating too much HFCS and other sugars? Replacing HFCS with real sugar doesn't solve the problem if you're eating too much sugar. Alternatives to sugar, like agave nectar, are taking America by storm. But is a product that is 75% or higher in fructose a healthy alternative to high fructose corn syrup and other sugars? Some diet plans recommend replacing sucrose with honey or specifically raw honey. But honey is 50% fructose. If fructose is bad, shouldn't honey be banned? Some people believe Americans pig out on sugar because it's addictive, like nicotine and cocaine. When you eat sugar, it produces the same reaction in the brain as opiates, but to a much lesser extent. It's the brain's way to reinforce that sweet foods are good and bitter foods are bad. Liking sweet foods is a trait inherited at birth, but red velvet cake was not on the menu millions of years ago. Sweetness indicated ripe foods high in sugar, and sugar equaled energy. Refined sugar did not become a regular part of the human diet until the 19th century. Addiction doesn't explain why Americans eat far more sugar than many other countries. One explanation is that sugar is added to thousands of prepared foods. This barbecue sauce has high fructose corn syrup and molasses. Homemade breads have less than one gram of sugar per serving, whereas prepared breads, rolls, and buns have about one teaspoon of sugar per serving. Some Americans believe that natural or raw sugars are healthier than refined sugar. When it comes to calories, sugar is sugar. How much sugar you eat is more important than the type of sugar. Being overweight and sedentary increases the risk of diabetes regardless of the type of sugar you eat. A 16 ounce specialty coffee has 14 teaspoons over one quarter cup of added sugar. My homemade version has over 70% less sugar and almost 50% fewer calories. A serving of cola used to be six ounces and had about 20 grams of sugar. Would you drink six ounces of water, coffee, or tea with five teaspoons of added sugar? Many Americans drink 20 to 40 ounces of sugary soft drinks containing 65 to 130 grams of sugar. Another issue is that many high sugar foods are also high fat foods. A one half cup serving of ice cream has four to six teaspoons of added sugar and between 140 to 300 calories. Regardless what the experts recommend, the question comes down to how much sugar is right for you. There's no one size fits all answer since everyone is unique. But if you have a family history of obesity, type two diabetes, heart disease, are overweight, or your blood glucose is above 100 milliliters per deciliter, you should reduce refined sugars in your diet and obtain sugar from natural sources like ripe berries and fruit. These sources provide dietary fiber and nutrients not found in sugar. Unlike other foods, Americans don't eat sugar. They eat hundreds of products made with sugar adding excess calories to their diet and increasing their risk of heart disease and diabetes. Thank you for watching.